Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about uh, the, the, the coming great boom and bust and also how to profit from both sides of the story. So let's get straight into it right now. Um, before, I, before I start guys, um, I, I actually ran a training recently showing all the details to my trading system, um, what I had to do, what I had to learn to go from losing money to making money. Uh, also, you know, my scanning technology and, and all that sort of stuff. I just, it was an amazing training. Um, today's the very last day that you actually can get that free training. I've actually put the replay up. If you go, there should be, there should go to johnsfreetraining.com or there, or there should be a, a link around the, in the description, click on that. And this is the very last day you actually can get access to, to that re replay because it comes down today. I've only put it up for a couple of days. Yesterday was the first day, today, today is the last day. Now, let's go and talk about what's going on right now. I wanna talk about um, what's happening fundamentally across these markets and uh, what I expect to happen to these markets and then how we can actually do well, how we can actually profit from these markets doing moving forward. So let's actually talk about this here. Firstly, uh, let's actually talk about what I believe the first phase of this great, the, the great coming boom and bust cycle. Firstly, the great coming boom is the first part of that, of that maybe that's, that's, the, that's the line I used for, um, for, for this video. So let's actually look at this here. I truly believe that looking at the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 and especially the NASDAQ, um, I truly believe with what's going on right now underneath these markets, we are in the middle of one of the greatest booms in history. There is so much flaw underneath these markets that yes, we may go through phases like we are right now, like sideways, or we may even go through a bit of a correction. Now, a bit of a side note. If we do go through a correction in the markets, like we see a 10 to 15% drop, that's going to be an absolute layup for a big move to come. Because I truly see there's nothing changed underneath these markets, and these markets to me have at least another 20% move to the upside for where we are right now before we may start to see a top in the markets. Um, I won't go into details of how I got that and so on and so forth. That, that'd actually be a long story. But the purpose of me saying that is the Cut, cut it down and condense it into a much shorter video for you, is that right now, we still have 0% interest rates and they're not raising them yet. They're talking about, talking about, thinking about, thinking about, talking about doing it, yes, okay? But once they actually do, that's when we start, okay, so that's when we need to start, okay, firstly, how much did they raise the rates? Is, was it just by a quarter base point? If so, if it's a, if it, when they do raise the rate, which I truly believe won't be too, too late next year anyway, uh, it might be even middle of the next year. But for the next six to for, for at least the next six months, it's game on for the bulls. At least for the next six months, right? Because they're probably not going to raise the money. They're, they're not going to. There's a real good probability chance they're not going to raise the rates this year. So it's game on for the bulls. Secondly, with all the stimulus that has been and going to be, oh. My goodness, Donkey Kong has come to town and uh, Donkey Kong's here. Unfortunately, Donkey Kong sometimes has, has, a, has a bit of a rest. <laughs> like we're seeing right now on the Dow Jones, right? So we've seen Donkey Kong's having a little bit of a rest for a while, but don't worry, he's gonna wake up real soon and we're gonna start to see this move heading up. Now that may already be the case, like on the S&P 500. Notice on the S&P 500, we just slowly go up. Notice through here, right? We just slowly make our way up. And then we go through a bit of a sideways phase and we slowly make our way up. We're not going to go parabolic, all right? We're not all, we're not going to go suddenly big, massive 10%, you know, limit update. Actually, it's 7%. Uh, that's actually 7% down, actually, by the way. That, that means if the futures market's down by 7%, circuit breakers kick in and actually pause trading for a bit. Then they reopen it again a little while after. I think it's about 20 minutes or half an hour later. Then if it comes back down to, I think about 10%, then, then the circuit breakers kick off kick off for the day. I think that's what, what happens. We haven't actually seen that. I experienced that a few times trading the futures market back in 2008. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like, what the hell happened? What, what, what happened? Oh, circuit breakers kicked in and stopped all trading. Um, so, but looking at the S&P 500, right? We're just continuing to stair step up. I did think that we may be getting some, we may be getting ready for some sort of a correction. We're not seeing that yet. 
Um, and so it's game on for the Bulls. And so you can see what's happening right now, right? We can see that we're still slowly crawling to the upside on the S&P 500, right? So looking at the markets right now, we can see that one, we have all these interest rates at zero, and then we have this printing of money that's coming and that's happening this year. So for the next six months, it's pretty much game on for the bulls. And uh, even for the NASDAQ as well too, NASDAQ has been starting to slowly break out of its triangle. I'm actually bullish the NASDAQ. I'm actually in the NASDAQ or the QQQs myself. I got in a few days ago. Um, and also I'm actually bullish a few stocks when it comes to the NASDAQ. One of them is Microsoft. Um, I've been in Microsoft for quite some time. So not now, I actually got back in at the start of the year. Um, it was actually around March that I actually got into it. And then also I'm also in Adobe as well and adobe's just being just going gangbusters so both but they're the only three that i'm in right now when i call the two that when it comes to stocks i'm looking at amazon uh as 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 a potential candidate as well too so i'm really 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 focused on what's happening right now uh and seeing this move here and so when it comes to the the nasdaq i have a target of up here at seventeen thousand, a minimum a conservative target of sixteen thousand. A minimum target of 17,000 when it comes to the NASDAQ this year, right? By the end of this year. So I see, especially tech sectors, like, like it to really start to pick up some moves. And we may continue to see a flattening out period like we have done in the tech stocks. Uh, for the last six months, tech stocks did nothing. Dow Jones, S&P started to do something. Now the Dow Jones, S&P may not be doing nothing. And then it might be rotation back into, right? It's just a, circuit, it's just a circular, circulation, rotation type of thing. All right, so then we're back into here. So, you know, and to me, guys, what am I, what am I doing? Um, I am, for me personally, um, I'm positioning myself into some really good quality stocks. I'm long the QQQs right now. Uh, and also, what, I'm, I, what I am doing is every single one of my positions is capped to a minimum risk or maximum risk on my account. So if the whole world goes belly up, guys, I am taken care of. So you must understand that um, when I say, you know, the great boom and bust cycle, some of you bumblebees literally take that like, oh my goodness, oh, it's, the market's gonna skyrocket, let's go all in. No, guys, because anything can happen. This is the market, right? Right now, yes, I see continue bull markets and I'm positioned for it. But if it doesn't, then we must bend and mold with, with as the markets. And some traders or a lot of traders out there have a hard time of understanding that comprehending that i'm so bullish technically and fundamentally right now but if the facts start to change then i have to change with it and that's that's a very 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 important now what happens after we see the scrape boom so i see that happening through there also when it comes to the uh the s p 500 uh actually let's go to the spy did i do the sp was it the spy that i did uh, no. Okay, cool. So on the S&P 500, I see, let's actually do this on a daily chart, right? So I see roughly about, again, I know this sounds crazy, guys, but I just see an absolute parabolic move coming. And this sounds crazy, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But if we go from, say, here to here, and we look at, say, a 20% move, 5,000. Let's actually do that. Let's see, that's, that looks like a really good round number, 5,000. I see 5,000 by the end of this year, guys. Maybe, <laughs> I know that's crazy, isn't it? It's like, what, are you serious, John? It's like, do you know where the S&P is right now? And then like, like you're talking about like another 1,000 points to the upside. Um, actually, yeah, 700 and something points to the upside. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I am saying. I, am, I do see the market doing that. I see some just crazy moves coming towards the end of this year. Um, in the stock market. And so those who are long, I believe, are going to be very, very, very happy. And Santa Claus is going to be really, really, really good to those who are long this market. Uh, hence, one of the reasons why I'm long, I got my money in my mouth, is I'm, in, I'm very, very long this market right now. So that's what's likely to happen moving forward this year. Now, what happens when they start to taper off moving into next year? Uh, or maybe, maybe even at, maybe it, you know, who knows? It might be at the end of this year that they start to like, oh my goodness, inflation's going crazy. We need to start to calm it down and blah, 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 right? All that sort of stuff. Um, we really need to calm it down. Well, uh, when that happens, when they start to taper, um, and especially when they start to taper, but especially when they start to raise the interest rates, um, when that happens, that's when, depending on how fast they do, that's when you got to start to be really careful, right? Because that's, 
especially the the the, the interest rates. The thing that's going to the, the the two big things you're going to be focused on when it comes to these markets, or three things actually. One, taxes, uh, which is a small part of it, but the two main things you're going to be looking at. Or really, let's actually condense it down to one simple thing. What's the interest rates? What's the interest rates? Because as soon as they actually start to raise interest rates, if they do it just slightly, then it's going to take some time for those interest rates to kick in. If they do it like quarter base point, quarter base point, quarter base point, it's probably going to take a good six to 12 months for that to really hit the market, to hit asset prices hard because they're doing it very slowly. But if inflation's going nuts and inflation's going crazy six months, 12 months from now, and they've had to jack it up really quickly to like one, you know, 1% to 2%, like they've had to run, uh, raise, raise it from zero to 1% instead of quarter base point, quarter base point. Uh, that's when you're going to start to see a hard stop in the markets because of that. But by that time, guys, you would have seen the great boom. But when the great boom is done, just like we see in crypto market, that all good things come to an end. So right now we're in the middle of that good thing, but then that good thing will come to an end. And there's also, if you know what to look for, there's also amazing opportunities to short it at the time. You just need to know what to look for in the market, which simply just means... You know, I, if you go to johnsfreegift.com, I've got a free trading course. You know, I teach you all that sort of stuff about chart reading and so on and so forth in there. Johnsfreegift.com. Um, or once again, guys, if you'd like to get, if you'd like to learn more about uh, my trading system and all that sort of stuff, today's the very last day. Let me actually just bring this up here and I'll finish off with today's video. Um, now, the big thing is, guys, uh, let me, here we go here. Um, yeah, so... Uh, da, 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 da. All right, here we go here. All right, guys, so, that, so there we go. Make sure you go to johnsfreetrain.com and then I'll, I'll teach you about my trading system so you can benefit from the bull market, so you can benefit from the bear market um, and so on and so forth. Today's your very last day to get access to this free training because it's the replay of the live training and then today it actually comes back down. Um, or if you just go to johnsfreegift.com, I've got a free trading course to actually help you out when it comes to chart reading and so on and so forth. Um, but make sure you go to make sure you go go to johnsfreetraining.com to get access to this right now. And above all, guys, one thing I really really want to stress the point here is 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 that zero percent interest rate still to this day, um, and massive quantitative easing is still pushing this market. What do you think? What do you think? Why do you think we had a massive V recovery in the stock market last year in, in 2020? Is because of stimulus, right? And zero percent interest rates. So that there's so much liquidity in these markets and still on the sidelines to come into these markets. We're going to see one crazy bull market towards the end of this year and it's going to go absolutely nuts. Um, and then there's going to be one hell of a crash that's going to just be bigger than 2008, faster than 2008. And it's going to be, it's actually going to be deadly. Like we didn't really go through a crash last year, right? Because the government came in to support. We didn't go through a depression, right? We didn't go through what one of those recession periods. Um, we got stopped. The government helped us out, or helped those out that needed it, um, and then and then it, and then it picked and then it picked back up from there. So, guys, the great coming boom and bust cycle, and right now we're in the middle of that great boom, maybe for the next six months or so, and then after that we are going to be inter entering one of the greatest crash periods, and that's where bulls and bears make money and pigs get slaughtered. Once after this year's done, guys, if you are continuing to hold long because you know you like these bubble bees like when crypto when bitcoin goes from 10,000 to 60,000 and you think it's always oh, going to go to 100,000 the moves already done with you know what i mean like you don't chase things that's high it's one of the reasons why i'm not in bitcoin because i'm like no way i was chasing bitcoin at 60,000 600% return um you know uh in 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 6 months it's just absolutely just a massive bubble hence the reason why we're seeing a massive pullback so right now we haven't seen that massive move up yet We've seen a pretty big move, but we are not there yet. We are all we are on our way up to seeing that, and uh, hence the reason why I have my trading system. Again, when you go to John's Free Training, you'll see my trading system that I use for an income. But then you also, uh, but I also have my investing positions, and I talked about some of Microsoft, Adobe, some S and P five hundred stocks. Um, you know, NASDAQ, uh, the QQQs, like I'm just long a lot of stocks right now, and uh, it's going to be one hell of a ride, guys, for the next six months. So just buckle up and uh, don't be a bumblebee. Find some good positions and <laughs> put your hand underneath your, on, underneath your backside and let the market go and do its thing. There's going to be a massive or there's likely to be a massive, massive vertical move up. 
Um, and then that's going to cause the that with inflation. It's going to cause the Fed to start to put the brakes on. When the Fed starts to put the brakes on, when it comes to inflate, when it comes to interest rates, that's when you have to be really, really careful about a top coming or, or happening right then. And then it's just a matter of time before we start to see, I believe after that, a secular year bear market, but starting off with a massive crash.